Developing this morning, closing arguments will wrap up for two former child welfare workers charged in connection with the 2019 death of five-year-old AJ Friend. The two are charged with endangering a child's life and reckless conduct. CBS 2's Darius Johnson joins us from the newsroom to tell us what we can expect today after days of testimony a few weeks ago. Darius? Ryan and Dana, good morning. At 9.30 this morning, we can expect closing arguments to begin at the McHenry County Courthouse. Then after that, the judge presiding over this bench trial will give a ruling for the two. AJ Friend was first reported missing in Crystal Lake back in April of 2019. A week later, his body was found in a shallow grave. The two former child welfare workers, Carlos Acosta and Andrew Polovin, are accused of failing to protect AJ. Neither of the two testified during the trial. Prosecutors say police reports indicate a history of problems at the family's home. Those testifying at the trial range from experts to those who say they witnessed AJ with bruises. A retired supervisor criticized the two caseworkers for the mishandling of AJ's case. In one incident, AJ had a bruise, which was seen by a responding officer, but reportedly ignored by Acosta. An emergency room doctor who also took the stand after treating AJ for bruises in 2018. Yet the cases were closed and caseworkers attributed the bruising to the family dog. We spoke to our legal analyst about the evidence and testimony throughout the trial. The judge has to consider the evidence, uh, has to consider all the testimony, uh, all the exhibits that have been placed into evidence, and he's got to make a tough decision as to whether or not the state's attorney's office has proven this case beyond a reasonable doubt. It can't be just a negligent situation that they were involved in or bad judgment. It has to be a crime. AJ's parents were convicted on murder charges in connection to his death. His mother, Joanne Cunningham, was sentenced to 35 years in prison. His father, Andrew Fran Sr., sentenced to 30 years. In the newsroom this morning, I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News.